All right, what's going on, everybody? God bless you as we thank God for so much, giving God the honor, the glory, and all the praise. I'm going to dive right into this video. Y'all see my title says, Haters always watch what you are doing. Haters always watch what you are doing. And I'm doing this video out of love, and I'm about to set some folks straight. Um, been getting a lot of negative emails, a lot of negative comments. And Brother Sam, let me give you a um, shout out, man. I love how you do things out of love. Uh, beautiful email. Such an encouraging email. Um, I deal with haters every day. I deal with them every day on her. And I deal with them in the world. So I'm used to them. And I thank God for them because they also keep me moving forward whether they know it or not. And uh, what I'm going to do in this video is address what you are talking about um, to this certain individual. And I'm going to call out the profile name 62469. I don't have nothing against this person, whoever it is, because they don't have no videos, they don't have no picture, no nothing. They page is like a question mark. And out of love, I'm going to say some things in this video. And I pray that 62469 is looking at it. And on my page, let me, I always say this. This is my page. Last time I checked, this is Jerome 24's page. And I can talk about whatever I want and how I want. You do not have to watch my videos. There's plenty of other videos you can look at. But see, the thing about haters is that a hater, once again, always watch what you are doing. And they listen at you because they take what you say and they twist it. A hater's job is to get at you. Well, that's the same way Satan is. Satan always hates on Jesus. He wanted the worship. So Satan is an imitator. Satan is a hater. And if you don't have God in you, and you always going against people, then you are classified also as a hater. And thing about it is, people will agree with you one day, and then the next day you a false teacher, or you ain't right, you need to go study, you need to do this, you're going to do that. They can't stand you the next day. Then they right back on your side. I've dealt with quite a bit of people on, on my page like that. Some of them I had to block, some of them I leave. You know, the thing is, we have to do things out of love. Now, me personally, if I have a problem with what somebody said, I go to that person. I inbox them. Get an understanding with them. Haters, they just blast on you out in the open. You know, they want to be, they want everybody else to see what they saying against you. Hey, it's each to their own. And 62469, I'm calling your name out once again. I love you. Whether you like it or not. And you, you want to do things, say things, let me say, on me in front of the whole world. So I'm going to address it in front of the whole world. Just like Paul rebuked Peter in front of everybody. I always tell people, if you don't want to be fronted out, don't front me out. And don't dare think that I'm going to turn my cheek and walk away because I'm a child of God. Oh no. See, people get this mixed up about the children of God. Y'all think we're supposed to be weak. No. I stand my ground boldly. And that go for you and any other people on here that got a problem with me. If you do things out of love, you don't have to worry about stuff. But since you want to just really just talk bad about me in front of the whole world on them all them comments you left. So let me let me correct some stuff in this video. And don't think I'm gonna just walk away with not defending myself. And the people always wanna wanna tell their side and leave you, you know, leave you stuck and don't wanna hear nothing else. Well, Anybody know me know I'm on camera every day. And I stand boldly. And uh, Brother Sam, once again, uh, thank you for 
you know, that, that, that inbox, which is what, what a lot of people don't do. You know, some do, some don't. I always like when people do things the right way, you know, and get an understanding, but a lot don't. They just go off on you. Now, here's these comments, 62469 was saying about me, and the, all because I've done a video answering questions, listen to what I'm saying, y'all, answering questions about why I used to believe in a rapture and why I don't. Do you think I'm going to get mad at somebody because of what they used to believe in and then they don't? No. That's dumb for me to do stuff like that. What you believe is what you believe. But don't expect me to believe what you believe when I'm my own man. The comments you were talking about sticking out so hard on my page, you know, <laughs> that's why I left a comment back saying I'm going to leave all these dumb comments up here so the world can see it, how dumb it sounds. His comment said, you said out of your own mouth, JT, the Lord taught you the hymns, how to play music on all them tutorials. Then he turned around and said that <laughs> he taught you a lie. Now that I'm black, now I'm blaspheming because the same guy that taught me how to play the piano and showing me the word of God I'm blaspheming now because I've said I do not believe in rapture. <laughs> See how dumb that sound? I know what you're talking about, Brother Sam. Now I'm a blasphemer. <laughs> I'm blaspheming the Holy Ghost. He said I have accepted a strong delusion if I lost all my friends and family, you know, I didn't show them the love of God. Jesus was a friend of sinners and publicans. Surely he told them the truth. He said that's the problem. Everybody wants to blame everybody. Play the blame game. He said I blame grandma. I blame mama. I blame daddy. Blame the teacher. Blame the preacher. Blame the deacons. Just take what I said and, and, and turn it into something so stupid. First of all in that video I never said I blamed anybody. I said what you are taught as a child growing up has a big, it have a big effect on you, and you believe in what you was taught growing up, and I was taught wrong. That's why I love PP drawings. PP drawings address the situations I love so good, just like a brother, a brotherly love. He did it so Christ-like. He said it ain't even about all that, you know. If you just listen, 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 and PP drawings are saying the same thing I've been saying for years about how what we was taught growing up, because a lot of our you know, Ken folks, grandparents, and people couldn't even read, you know. And here I am asking questions and I get attacked, you know. And it's funny to me how people are, you know. And PP Drawings, thank you once again. That's why you know me. You know, a lot of people don't know me. They see a few videos and then they just start blasting on me, you know, like they've been knowing me for years. And this same dude... <laughs> Whoever it is, I don't know if it's a dude, female, I don't know. What they don't understand is every day I'm outreaching. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm trying to get my voice back. I'm outreaching. I'm trying to reach my family every day. The same ones that taught me wrong, I'm trying to reach them every day. Some of them going to get it, some of them not. Whether they get it or not, that's their choice. But I'm still going to reach out to them. But now I'm a blasphemer because I said God taught me how to play and I don't believe in the rapture. <laughs> and I never showed people the love of God. I left the church. I walked out like a coward. Wow. <laughs> now when Jesus was rejected, what did Jesus do? Rejected by the Jews. Went right on to somebody who wanted to believe. He went to the Gentiles just like Paul went to the Gentiles. You're not going to reach everybody. And do I call that being a coward and leaving? No. I call that moving on. And if people want to call you a coward for moving on or, you know, looking at you like you're you weak and you're a punk, you, you, you just couldn't hang, then you, you're talking about my Lord and Savior. When Jesus was not weak, Jesus was meek. Jesus kept it moving. He even told the disciples, when you're in a city or town and people don't, don't, don't receive you, 
shake the very well dust off your feet and leave. Yes, I said grandma and all of them was wrong. The preachers was wrong. Did I say I blame them once again? No. I said they was wrong in what they taught because they was taught religion. And if you are taught religion and not ta taught relationship, then you are lost. You are lost. So I don't walk around with the blame game. Those that know me know that. He told me that I don't want to submit to a pastor. <laughs> I had to laugh at that comment. I mean, submit to a man. Submit, submit to uh, 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 somebody else. You know, I don't have nothing against pastors. I got a pastor. But my pastor is not higher than God. <laughs> I have to make that very clear to people. I study for myself. Like a lot of people don't do. That's why when I speak, it don't add up a lot of times. So I have to laugh at all this mess when people, you know, twist up what you say. Brother said, I have made excuses why I left the church. And I'm still in the church building. Right now, I'm still a minister of music. I'm still speaking. I'm still teaching. I'm still playing. I'm still doing everything that I've been doing for I don't know how long now. Did Jesus walk around playing the blame game? No. He just kept it moving. When he was rejected once again, he just kept it moving. Paul had to be taught the gospel by the Lord because the way he had learned was wrong. He was going against the Christians. Was Paul a coward? Nope. Not by long shot. Paul was very bold when he was against Christ. And then Paul got even bolder when he was for Christ. That's why God took that same persecutor of the Christians and used him to spread so much of the word in the New Testament. So... These comments I laugh at, and I'm addressing this issue because I'm doing this the right way. I love. If you don't don't you don't want me to respond back, don't blast on me in the public. Am I mad? No, I couldn't be no more happier because I use my haters as elevators. Y'all really don't understand how y'all put fuel to my fire. God taught me the right way. I was confused from what I was taught growing up. But now that I'm a man, God has taught me the right way. So 62469 said, I am very confused according to him or her, whoever it is. Don't know. Ain't nothing but a blank profile. They said my seed fell on stony ground, whatever the hell that means. He said that I need or he or she, whatever it is, said that I need to find a man full of wisdom and learn from him. That's what he said, a man full of wisdom when I'm learning from God. Now man got more wisdom than God. See, I, see, if you let people talk long enough, you'll see how stupid they sound. Some of them just want attention. So when you come at me, you best to be ready when you come to me with your BS. Because I stay ready. I stay ready for whatever comes my way, on and off camera. And the main reason I stay ready is that Bible right there. They said, JT, you just want to do your own thing. I heard this from five people this week. You just trying to do your own thing, man. You, you just trying to get paid. <laughs> get paid with what? I'm on there every day for free. Spread the word of God for free. Did all those tutorials for free. See, a false prophet want money. JT don't want nothing at all. You know what I want you to do? Get saved. Get delivered. Get to heaven. So you can call me fake, false, weak. All them names you want. Get all the names you can add up. And thank you. When you get through calling me what you want to call me. Because I'm still going to stand tall as the man of God that I am. See, once again... I know every last one of my haters. If you give them a, just a minute, they'll flip on you. They with you one minute. 
they with you one minute. That's why I say, if you got a problem with somebody, you should go to that person one on one and try to get it right before you try to blast on them out in the open. So since since I've been blasted on in the open, I'm going to rebuke it in the open. So if you want to put me out there without me defending myself, here I am. Then be ready. You better be ready. Let me let me take my little glasses off. Be ready. Be ready to take what I'm going to say. I show my face bold. I don't run. I walk. I talk. I'm here. As long as God allows me to wake up, you're going to have to see me, see this face again. So there's a, a button called dislike on her that you can dislike me. And there's also a mouse on your computer that you can just hit to skip past my videos if you don't like what I'm going to say. It's always a proper way to do things. I remember a while back on here when these, these guys did a video over an hour long on me and Mitty Man and Brother L.A. And I was just honored that they took an hour out of their day just to hate on us. <laughs> and, and one guy got it right with me because he said, you're right, brother. We should have never done this video. He said we should have got an understanding. We should have hit each other up in email one-on-one. -on -one. He, he said, I'm sorry. And I, I can respect that man so much. But the other dude, he just pretty much cussed me out and was ready to fight. To that one brother, you know, God bless him. I never heard from them again. And it don't make me no mind if I ever hear from them again or not. You know, I, I forgive. I move on. So he did. He was, you know, at least one, one had the, you know, the heart to say, you know what, we wrong for that. One was right, and the other one ready to fight. I done had so many threats on her. People tell me if they ever see me, you know, it's on. Do I fear that? No. You better recognize I'm still from the streets. I fear no man. I fear no man at all. And I have to I have to let that be known sometimes because people think that that you when you are a child of God, you are so weak and they can just do you any kind of way. Uh, Y'all better realize who you're dealing with right here. I, don't, I am no punk at all by long shot. And that's why God uses me to stand on his way. You cannot run me off. YouTube would have to delete my account. That's the only way I'm going to leave YouTube. And that will happen one of these days. Because according to the word of God, things are going to get worse and worse and worse. So yeah, a lot of times I gotta put a food in their place. And I rebuke all this mess. So you better be ready for me when you blast on me in front of everybody. Once again, I'm showing my face. Y'all know my pro my profile. Y'all know Jero 24. This is me every day of the week, 24 7. 24 7. I don't have nothing to hide. On or off camera. 624. Six nine, if you're still listening, I still love you, brother, sister, whoever you are, whether you like it or not. I still love you. The Bible said, All you're getting, get an understanding, not get messy. Instead of getting an understanding, you just wanted to just talk bad about me of a video that I was answering questions about. So, once again, talk all you want. Like I told you in the comment, I'm going to still be here. I'm still going to do what the Lord say do. They talked about Christ. And I say this with love as I close. Get you a picture up. Get you a profile. Put some videos up. You got a profile. We just don't know who you are. Put you some videos up. If you don't like what I'm saying, put your videos up on what you think is right. And I guarantee you I'm not going to waste time looking at now one of them. But somebody else might. Because you showed me the type of love that you have. With, with what you do toward my page. I don't have time for that mess. So I'm once again just addressing this issue since I was blasted on publicly. Here I am telling my side. All I get, not some of it, get an understanding. This could have all been avoided if you could have just simply said, you know what brother, I don't understand what you mean right here. Let's go to the scriptures. But now you just 
Oh, you a fool, you this, you that. So when you call me a fool, I'm looking around back at you like you the real fool. So God bless you. And if you have nobody else to hate on, please, please, please continue to hate on me. Please. Because that always let me know I'm doing something right. If you don't have nobody against you, Satan already got you. So to all the Christians, everybody that's looking at this video, if you're still with me, remember, a hater always watch what you are doing. Always. They know what you're doing. They know what you're talking about. Y'all feel me? And Brother Sam, thank you, man. Once again, that's why I love everybody that keeps me, you know, lifted up and encouraged me. And once again, I'm not mad at nobody. Y'all y'all got to understand where I'm coming from in this video because this is what I deal with every day. It's not often that I do a video like this, but when it gets out like that, and then a lot of people that look at me wondering what's going on and why this dude saying this or why she's saying this, JT, yeah, I'm going to address it. Now, real men say, I love you. Real men forgive you. I love you. I forgive you. Whether you like it or not, you know, I hold no grudges at all. I move on. And if you don't ever look at me another day, that's your business. I'm not gonna chase you down and say, please watch my video, please watch my videos. No, you can go, you can go do what the hell you want to do. Because that's your life. This is my life. So sometimes you gotta put people in their place. Lady D, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So God bless you, God. Keep you to the haters. Hate on. To the believers, keep pressing on. Peace.